Hi guys. Um, I hope everybody is doing well on this beautiful Saturday. And um, I hope everybody is having a good day thus far. So, um, I know it's been a little while. I've actually, I've been so busy. I've been wrapped up in work. I, I work two jobs, guys, and um, I'm in school full time. And it's no joke. Graduate school is no joke. Um, don't believe the hype. If, if you know, it, it, listen, I'm here to encourage everyone, but let me tell you something. Graduate school is no joke, okay? Uh, so I've been, you know, busy and um, just trying to get, you know, my business and everything and everything in order and situated. So the message today, now that I'm here, um, I went on a three day fast and I was praying and meditating nonstop. And the two visions that, um, came to me two visions that I've had uh, one the first one is basically I'm, I'm, I'm walking through a door and as I walk through this door there is uh, a treasure chest that's surrounded by a beaming light right and um, this beaming light is what attracted me to this chest and as I'm walking towards the chest, I open up the chest and there's snakes, vicious, poisonous snakes. And just as quick as these snakes were covering the gold that was in the chest, they came out and all quickly surrounded around me, like in a snap of a finger. Um, and basically there's some biggie going on. So if y'all see me turning around, I gotta make sure that, you know, they don't get me like, tell me huge, but, uh, <laughs> They all surrounded around me, right? And they started to grow. And as they started to grow, I closed my eyes because I was so scared and God said, don't be scared. I don't give you the spirit of fear. I need you to say three times, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So I closed my eyes and I said, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. And as soon as I, I opened up my eyes, these snakes disappeared, but the chest closed but the second door opened. I went through the second door and then there was another chest that was also surrounded around a beaming light. This beaming light attracted me to the chest. I opened up the chest, there was gold. But this time when I opened up the chest, I thanked God before I even opened it up. Before I even opened it up, I said, thank you God for getting me out of the previous situation. Cause I didn't know what was, I, I knew there was a second beaming light and I didn't know what was in this chest, but I thank God for getting me out of the previous situation. And I, I thank God and then I opened up the chest there was gold and a quadruple. So um, that was the first vision. The second vision that I had, uh, basically I was talking to my mom and out of nowhere, um, three small black rats appeared. But the first rat that appeared and came uh, was closest than the other two that were treading behind it was darker than the others. And this one, um, this one, right, um, my mom hit because she was like you're just gonna sit down let the rat jump out on you and she hit it and it went away and these but these other two rats now she didn't say nothing about these and i what happened they got closer to me and they were so scary looking they also started to grow but my first attempt to hit them it didn't work and then they started to grow and then um this time i took it upon myself to say let me get myself out of this tight because I felt like if I hit it it was you know and I need to get myself out that tight situation you know that tight little space there and I said okay after I get myself out of this little tight space if I hit these two rats they should be able to you know and if they don't they won't you know I won't be injured in no kind of way because I'm out I'm free I'm out of that that tight space I was in a tight space and when I came out and I hit them they went away so what I get from that is um what I get from that is there are some people you need to weed out of your life. There are some snakes, there are some rats in your life that you need to get out. You need to figure out whoever these people are. You need to pray. You need to pray. You need to fast. You need to do whatever it is. Because I'm telling you, just as sure as I had that vision, it's for my life as well for me to take heed to it. But it's for whoever I'm speaking to that this message res resonates uh, with. There are some snakes, some snakes, there are some rats in your life. People, treacherous people. 
that God is putting your blessing on hold. Even though he's saying your ships are coming in, your blessing is right around the corner. There are some things that you need to do. There are some steps you need to take. There are some people that you need to weed out before you receive this blessing. Because this is sure as God comes with a purpose for your life, the devil comes with a purpose as well. And when God knows he has a blessing for you, the devil knows it as well. And when God sends people in your life to give you messages, what you think the devil going to do? He's going to send people as well. Not to give you no message, to detour you off your path. God has a path for you. Don't be fooled and think God just out here giving, giving freebies. Because that's not how it works. You are on a path. There are some things that you need to do before you receive your blessing. There are some, some people you need to weed out. You got to put God first. You got to put Jesus first. And you have to hearken unto their voice, unto the righteous voice. Living in righteousness. Not being on the broad road, but choosing to be on the narrow. It's a choice you have to make. No one can make it for you. Now, when you pass these tests, when you're going down this path, you have to be focused on your journey. Now, when God sees you've been dutiful and you've been focused, he blesses you. There's no freebies that's given out in this. But like I said, when God knows he has a blessing for you, the devil knows it as well. He has the ability to send people on that path, even if you cut everyone. He still has the ability to try to come in and try to detour you and take you up because he don't want you to get to that blessing that God has for you. So what I get from that is there's some things that you're going through right now, and I know that it's hard. Trust me, I understand. Your kids are around you 24-7. You don't know what's going on with this dead-end job. You, you are surrounded by people, toxic people. You don't even know how to get away from these people because you don't know how to be alone. You don't know how to get out that marriage. You don't know how to get out that relationship. You don't know how you're going to get out that dead-end job. You don't know when your business is going, to, is going to finally start to take off. You don't know when, basically, uh, you're going to be able to start to see your blessing or start to enjoy the fruits of your labor.